Welcome back to English Daily News Report. I'm your host, Paul. Today's story is an interesting story. British man calls 999 to ask police for a ride home. Why would he call the police and ask them for a ride home? Well, we got to read the story to find out. Stick around. It's time for exercise number one, reviewing the vocabulary. All right, if you have a pen and paper, you could write down these words. That way you can memorize them later. Warn. Warn is a verb. Don't confuse warn with the word warm. The only difference is the N and the M. What does warn mean? to tell a person about something negative or dangerous so they can avoid it. Here's an example. The sign warned that the area was dangerous to enter. Let's check out the photo of a warning sign. Danger, keep out, authorized personnel only. Authorized. So that must mean you need some sort of documentation maybe a badge, maybe a card. But if you're just an average person like me, we must stay on this side of that sign. Worrying. Worrying is a noun. Worrying, making you feel nervous or anxious. The fact that he's been late to work three times this week is quite worrying. Deliver. Deliver is a verb to bring something to a person or place. The package was delivered by our courier. Here's a picture of a courier. So you might see these type of people with an Amazon logo, a UPS logo, USPS, FedEx, DHL, or your local post office. Escort. Escort is a noun. A person or group that travels with someone in order to protect or guard them. He was taken to the hospital with a police escort. Nettle. Nettle is a noun. Nettle. A wild plant with leaves covered in small hairs that can sting. There are nettles growing in my backyard. Here's a picture of a nettle up close. Have you seen this plant before? Do you have these plants in your backyard? Let me know in the comments down below if you have some of these plants. You better stay away, they sting. Campaign. Campaign is a noun. Campaign. A planned series of activities intended to achieve a particular goal. Television ad campaigns can be very expensive. All right, that's it for the vocabulary today. It's time for the next exercise. Exercise number two, the article. During this exercise, you may read along, you may listen, you may also listen, pause the video, and reread the same paragraph that I just read so that you can practice reading and you may practice your pronunciation as well. The choice is yours, all right? All right, let's get to it. The article's titled, British Man Calls 999 to Ask Police for a Ride Home. Police in Essex in the UK are warning people to only phone 999 if it's an emergency after receiving a call from a man asking for a ride home because he missed his bus. He missed his bus? That's it? After they told him that they were not a taxi service, the man decided to call family to take him instead. Essex police wrote on Twitter. Essex police have shared a number of their worst 999 calls after receiving more than 3,000 over the bank holiday weekend from August 28th to August 30th. Did you notice that when I said August 28th, I added the TH. That's because it's a date. Even though you don't see the TH, you must pronounce it. While nearly all those calls were real emergencies, a worrying number were not, said Ian Jennery from Essex Police. 
In recent months, the police also received a call from a man complaining about being asked to leave a bar. He then called again and again asking for pizza. That guy was hungry. The only thing he got delivered to his door were two of our officers, the police said. <laughs> Oops. But there were more examples. Someone called from the M11 motorway between London and Cambridge asking for a police escort because they were late getting home for dinner. And a girl asked for help saying she couldn't find her way out of some nettles. The police said that answering these calls could mean that it takes longer to help people with real emergencies. Essex isn't the only place in the UK having problems with bad 999 calls. In June, Gwent Police in Wales started a public campaign asking people to make the right choice when calling 999. Gwent Police warned that calling 999 when there isn't an emergency can mean the difference between life and death for someone else. Alright, that's it for the article. If you would like to listen or reread this article, you can click the timestamp down below, and that way you can go right back to the beginning and start it over. If not, you can continue on to the next exercise. I'll see you in just a second. All right, the article is ended, and that means it's time for exercise number three, the questions related to the article. Let's read the questions. How did the man react when Essex police told him they were not a taxi service? Did you take some time to answer question number one to yourself? The answer to question number one is, he called his family instead. Question two, how many calls did Essex police receive from August 28th to August 30th? The answer to question number two, how many did they receive? More than 3,000. Question number three, when did Gwent police start a campaign to stop non-emergency 999 calls? When did Gwent police start the ad campaign? They started it in June. So, how did you do answering the questions to exercise number three? Did you get all your answers right? All right, it's time for the next exercise. Let's jump right in. Number one, what are your thoughts on the non-emergency 999 calls reported by Essex police? So my thoughts on the non-emergency 999 calls is, I know, I knew it. I've watched many TV shows. You know, I've watched cops, I've watched sheriff departments, I watch a lot of YouTube, and I've seen these strange calls before. They're so interesting, they're funny. The police even laugh at them. Could it be annoying for them? Of course. If you've ever heard of some non-emergency, strange, or interesting call, tell me what it was in the comments down below. Number two, do you know anyone who works for the emergency services? Yes, I do know someone who works for the police department in the U.S. He just became a police officer in San Francisco. This is somebody that I met while living in Thailand many, many years ago. Congratulations, man. You earned it. Number three, would you rather work as a police officer, paramedic, or firefighter? Why? I'm going to choose the police officer. That's because when I was a kid, that was what I wanted to be when I grow up. I thought police cars and uniforms and badges, I thought all that stuff was so cool, especially the SWAT team or the canine unit. The canine unit is the unit where they have a dog in the back of the car that helps them sniff out illegal contraband. Number four, who's the first person you'd call if you found yourself in trouble? Why? So it depends on the type of trouble and the situation, of course. But I have a lot of friends and I have a lot of family I can always rely on. 
and I would judge that call depending on the situation. I could always call a friend when I'm in need. I can always call my dad or my mom or even my sister. So it really depends what's the situation and what's the trouble. Number five, have you ever had someone waste your time at work? Have I ever had someone at work waste my time? Of course, we all don't work the same. Sometimes when we're ready and we're going, the other person isn't. Sometimes when we share work, we have to rely on that other person. So it happens, it happens everywhere. Does it happen to you? Has it happened recently? If it has, comment down below, how long did you have to wait? Time for exercise number five, a little further discussion. Question number one, are you good at dealing with stressful or frightening situations? Is it hard to deal with stressful or frightening situations? Definitely. You know, stressful situations are manageable, but frightening situations can be tough, especially when it makes my body shake, my hands are shaking, I stop thinking, I stop breathing, I don't know what to do in that moment. It can be really, really difficult. Question number two, has a stranger ever helped you out of trouble? If so, how did they help you? Has a stranger ever helped me out? Definitely, a million times, especially in Thailand. I'll give you an example. I went on a motorcycle trip one time with some friends away from Bangkok. We were around three to four hours away from the main city. And as we were coming back, my motorcycle started to heat up and then oil was pouring out and wouldn't run anymore. And I was stuck on the side of the road in Thailand without any help. The only thing I could do was put my bike up, stand out on the side of the road, put my thumb out or wave my hand trying to see if I could get anyone to stop and help me. And luckily the right person did. This nice man with his family in the back of his truck picked me up, asked me where I was going and took me all the way back to Bangkok. It was so cool. He delivered me right to my doorstep and he didn't want anything no money, no payment. He said he was just happy to help out. Number three, have you ever helped someone out of trouble? If so, please share what happened. Have I ever helped someone out of trouble? Yeah, many times. The situations that I've needed to help people out in, I'm not very comfortable sharing just because it's about their life. So it's their story to tell not mine. But was I happy to help them? Of course I was happy to help them. Have you ever helped somebody? If you have and you can share their story, tell me about it in the comments down below. Number four, who would you say is the bravest person you know? Who would I say is the bravest person I know? You know, I know a lot of brave people. A lot of the people around me are brave. Those people inspired me to be brave as well. My father inspired me to be brave. He is probably the bravest person I know. Why? Because he did everything he thought he couldn't and more. He did stuff that other people couldn't. He did everything right. Even though he might say he did everything wrong, he did it right and that shows me how brave he is. All right, that's it for today's exercises. I hope you had fun in today's exercise. It was a very interesting, funny story. But don't leave just yet. It's time for the word of the day, right now. Thanks for sticking around to catch the word of the day. The word of the day today is fuzz. Fuzz is a slang word for police. How do we use it in a sentence? Hey man, the fuzz is right around the corner. Or, I saw a man running from the fuzz last night on my way home from work. All right, that's it for the word of the day. 
If you really enjoyed this video, click the like button. If you haven't already, subscribe. And if you don't want to miss the next video, turn on the bell notification. That's it. Thanks for sticking around. I will see you guys in the next video. See ya.